、なんもないね。お前が信者を大事に思うように、私にも大事なものがある。許せ。父や母や仲間を家畜の境遇から助け出すきっと最後のチャンスです思えば月で正気なのはあなただけでしたよくぞここまでお一人でずるいそんなこと聞いたら王のこと怒れないじゃないいいのいいよ許してあげる Forgiveness means letting go of resentment or anger. Vengeance is defined as the punishment inflicted for a wrong. In Hoseki no Kuni, we watch a kind person turn vengeful and then kind again. A lot of people assumed after the 10,000 years that Foss wouldn't be able to forgive them, the Lenarians, for what they did to them. But when Foss stood up at the end of 10,000 years, they saw Ventricosis, someone who betrayed them, made a deal with the Lenarians. Lured Foss out into the middle of nowhere and rendered them motionless. But all Foss saw was someone alone, someone who'd do anything for their family, someone Foss forgave. As they slowly moved their head over, they saw Karen Gorm, someone who betrayed them, someone who was manipulated by a Lunarian, someone Foss thought they could trust, but instead left them vulnerable. But Foss didn't see that. Foss saw someone afraid of being alone. They saw someone who would do anything to change themselves to be loved and accepted. Foss forgave them. As their head lowered, they saw Cinnabar. Someone who betrayed them. Someone who fought Lunarians. Someone who Foss admired that tore them to pieces. But Foss only saw someone who was lonely. Someone who was abandoned for their differences. Who was weak. Who desired a purpose. Who wanted to disappear. When Foss looked at the Lunarians, They saw themselves, but not someone who was vengeful, someone they could forgive. As Foss stood there, the Lunarians bowed, and Foss spoke to them I am capable of turning all of you into my eternal slaves, or I could plunge you deep into a solar flare and grant you the pain of endlessly regenerating inside. However, I awoke today on this field, and what came to mind was a day long past. On that day, I was alone on the field until I received news of this task. And on this day, once again, I am here alone. Then we see I was always alone from the very beginning. I will pray, sending you to the void. In these ten thousand and some odd years, I had nothing. To attain nothingness, that is your wish and mine. We have finally come to understand each other. As Foss raised their palms, the last words the Lunarians spoke were thank you. And all Foss said in reply was goodbye. There were many reasons why Acnea chose Foss to become human, but one of those reasons wasn't said by Acnea. They were said by Congo. As Foss sat facing Congo as he taught, a gem asked if Foss would fight. Congo responded with, Mada wa karanai ga. I still don't know, but. Yasashi koda. This is a kind child. The Japanese word yasashi can mean sweet, gentle, kind. It can also mean easy. Which does translate to English when you say something is kind to you, you're saying that it was easy or it was helpful towards you in that way. But from what we've learned from the series about Foss is that. Foss is not easy to take care of. And sometimes they aren't kind. Sometimes they aren't gentle. In fact, we see at the beginning with how abrasive they are in wanting to fight and being callous with what they do that they aren't very sweet, gentle, or kind. They aren't even easy. In fact, they're the opposite of easy. They're difficult to take care of. They're difficult to understand. They're difficult to help. So, why did Congo call them Yasashi? It's because Foss was able to see themselves in others. Foss had empathy. In order for Acnea's plan to work, he would need a gem who was unsatisfied with life. 
and who would do anything for change. He needed a gem who could be motivated to help them. Someone whose attachment to the gems could be ruined. Someone who wouldn't repeat Congo's defect. Someone who could be broken down and trained not to love and to be rebuilt into something human. And he needed a gem that could go through that whole process and still forgive him. He needed someone kind. Pasta's kindness was their biggest strength and their biggest weakness. It caused them to be given everything they desire, but it also caused them great suffering. In their desire to help the characters closest to them, they became a different person. They became vengeful. And they even forgot about their kindness. Foss became vengeful in the end because they remembered their goal, but not their drive. They remembered they wanted to fight, but they forgot the reason that they wanted to fight. They remembered they wanted to find Cinnabar a role, but they forgot the reason they wanted to find Cinnabar a role. They remembered wanting to bring Antark back, but they don't remember why they wanted to bring Antark back. They accomplish all these things, but by the end, it, none of it matters to them. By the end, they never found their reason. At least not in the 10,000 years. After the Lunarians are gone, Foss begins to understand. They begin to understand their reason. They wanted to fight, but what they needed was to feel wanted. They wanted to find Cinnabar a better role, but what they needed was Cinnabar as a friend. They wanted to get Antark back, but they needed the ability to be grateful for the time that they had and move on. Foss realizes that in all this time they had been chasing their wants and not what they actually needed. During the 10,000 years, Foss had nothing. Everything was taken from them. Even their vengeance. In contrast, the Lunarians had everything. They had an abundance of choice. They had a society that constantly changed so that no one would get bored. No one had to grieve because all the gems that were lost were brought back. No one had to lose anything. No one had nothing. They all avoided pain and suffering at all costs. That's why they refused to look at the past. Meanwhile, Foss kneeled on Earth, remembering the destruction of humanity. At the end, Foss is able to recognize why they suffered and what they needed to improve due to not being satisfied with any of the outcomes of their goals. Meanwhile, every other character gets everything they wanted, but they never realized that they needed something different because they never go through what Foss goes through. They never become human. Foss forgives them because Foss pities them. Foss knows that they can cause the same suffering the Lunarians caused to Foss, but Foss decides to be the bigger person. Foss decides that they're done. Foss understands that both of them, during these 10,000 years, just wanted peace. And Foss decides to give it to them. Not because they deserve it. Not because they earned it. Not because they suffered enough to, to obtain it. But because Foss is kind. And in the Lunarians' final moments, Foss finally got what they needed. They got a thank you. Their existence was finally validated by the two people who influenced them most. Unfortunately, they would never have that again. And that's why they said goodbye. Thank you for watching my video. Please consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this.